I think for me personally, uh, of all the characters I've played and all the characters I'm interested in playing, um, as far as impressions from Beta 2, uh, Soul's kind of saving the game for me. Uh, the way, what this character is capable of and how he feels just feels like an evolution uh, of the character in many ways and is a lot different. Uh, everyone else, I, I kind of feel like I'm doing a lot of the same stuff over and over again. Right? When I'm playing Saul, I feel like I'm making a lot of constant decisions. I'm trying to figure out a lot of different approaches. And I, I feel like I'm playing Guilty Gear. Like, I feel like me playing Saul in this game, I'm just feeling feel like I'm playing like a very heavy version of like a previous Guilty Gear game. When I'm playing like Leo, when I'm playing Giovanna, um, when I was playing Angie, I couldn't just help but think like, man, it just feels like I'm missing tools and things like that. So over time, it was like, I think those characters are actually going to be just fine and really good. I just don't have a lot of fun playing them. For me, I legit have fun playing Soul Bad Guy in this game. And what's funny is that that was my thought process at the end of the previous beta. I was definitely like having fun in the, the learning process of figuring out what Guilty Gear Strive was going to kind of be was enjoyable. Uh, but at the end of that beta, I was getting kind of burned out, even when Leo was hella good and he had his run through and it was like combo opportunity. That stuff seemed like, okay, maybe we're going to discover some crazy stuff, but, uh, at this point in the game, they, they took a lot of that stuff out, um, the loops and things like that. Uh, a general understanding that it, it seemed like the devs were going to maybe not take away the fun stuff that we found, like the run cancel stuff with Soul and stuff like that, but, uh, they did. They specifically did, um, which sucks. I, I thought that was... Maybe it was just a misinterpretation of myself of what the hell the last developer backyard was saying, but took away stuff. So um, I think a lot of the things now people are doing is like going in the training mode to see what works. Like, wait a minute, so what, what doesn't work and what does work now? And the big thing that's very noticeable in beta, in this beta before the game launches, is that mobility is rough. Outside of May, like May is the exception. Like you want to talk about characters that have like classic guilty gear mobility, that's May. May feels like she's in the class of her own. And then you want to talk about another character that, like, has so many crazy opportunities and crazy shit. To me, that feels like Soul. Like, Soul feels like he's just constantly doing classic guilty your stuff, making all these decisions and shit like that. Either way, I'm still, like, I think Soul makes me have so much fun with the game. Like, I, I had an absolute blast just figuring out combo routes and conversions with this guy. And then eventually trying to land it in online matches and figure out what... What should Soul be doing in his neutral and stuff like that? Genuinely fun. The character's great. Everything feels super impactful and everything. But I 100% think that the backdashing being so limited, the aerial backdashing, the aerial dashing, the recovery, like all that stuff feels very like, like all characters have tar or mud on their shoes, except for Mei for some reason. For me, I wish everybody in this game played like Soul does. I, I'd imagine Eno is kind of similar. A lot of people say Eno uh, plays pretty crazy, and I've run into some pretty uh, pretty proficient Enos uh, tonight, and she does seem pretty cool, but nothing enough to like really captivate me. Like nothing that really makes me uh, want to jump in and play the character. I have a lot of hopes for the game. I do think that it's still going to be a lot of fun, and I'm going to jump back and play, you know, Leo every once in a while. I'm going to jump back and play Giovanna every once in a while. But if there's like the thing that makes me love fighting games is characters that, and I, I don't mean to meme this, characters that give me something to strive for, where I'm practicing something or you discover something and you want to go do that against people. And that thing either looks really cool or is very fun to do or something like that. What I was getting out of those other characters when I was playing them, um, outside of Soul, really didn't have that, right? You kind of rely on these three hit combos and stuff like that and you do like a little corner conversion and it's it is what it is but man yeah souls just got so much different crazy shit so much different crazy shit like i said i'm still hopeful it's just an eventuality that guilty gear strive is going to get a lot of these things added back to the characters right uh, eventually the game is going to get faster mobility is going to open up they're going to do that eventually it might take a version or two of the game later they're going to give the characters more tools and things that they can do but right now they're like seemingly depending on what happens from this beta going forward playing it super safe however by the time the game comes out it might be completely different, right? I 100% don't think that's going to happen because in the history of all the other betas where this has happened to fighting games that we've watched, that's not the result. The result is not a game in the end that has like more and crazy creative stuff that you can do. No, that's usually the fact that stuff is toned down. And I'm really worried. It's, it's gonna be 
it's going to be a, a huge bummer for me as far as wanting to like learn and play this game if they take away a lot of this stuff that Soul can do. If they end up taking away all these really cool things that Soul is capable of, I understand he's a good character, but if they remove a lot of these options and he just loses this stuff, it's gonna be really sad to see a butchered version of the Soul bad guy that's in this game because he's just so sick. He's so cool. Is he heavy and slow? Oh, hell yeah. But what he's capable of is just so much fun. So I really hope that doesn't go away. And if it does go away, it's gonna be a severely detrimental on my like, desire to want to like practice and get good you know at these games it's just i can't help it um i would just hope that future characters are really creative and engaging it might be a situation like mortal kombat 11 where i just come back to it all the time and i'm just looking for a character that like you know scratches my itch and would be really fun, like a character that I think looks cool and also plays really well or plays in a way that I really enjoy. And Mortal Kombat 11 just never gave me that character. So I just never ended up having a main in that game. We'll see how it goes. Um, I really hope they don't change Soul very much. I hope they actually revert back on some of the aerial mobility elements that are in beta 2. I definitely agree with the way a lot of people are feeling about the game right now. But the most important and biggest negative of Guilty Gear Strive outside of the netcode being great and you know, the game generally being functional and fun. Uh, the lobbies are awful. The lobbies somehow are even worse. I, I go into a lobby and I try to play people on a station. And if more than a few people show up at that station to try to play me, it just stops working. The game just ceases to function. I don't get it. Like, I don't. That didn't happen before. Like, the lobbies are so bad now. And that's a unique situation for me because I got a lot of people in a lobby trying to fight me but so many connection problems, it's ridiculous. Can't believe it that the lobby almost had just as many problems as I had when it was two months ago. Holy crap, dude, like the lobbies are probably, I mean, outside of the nerfs to characters and you know, you lost this and you lost that for this character, no more run through, yada, yada, yada. No, dude, the biggest detriment to this game is the friggin' lobbies. It's crazy to see a game have such great online but have such terrible online lobbies and like matchmaking. Although I really like the rank system. I think the rank system is damn cool. I think all the heaven system and everything like that and climbing uh, the heaven ladders is great. I love that idea. It's just this implementation with this lobby system sucks. Really sucks and I still feel the same way. Did meter usage feel any different compared to the first beta? I think meter did feel a little bit more plentiful. It could be a placebo, but I, I did feel that I was getting a lot more meter to do shit with in this version. Maybe it's just me. I was having a lot of fun um with using more meter on stuff i hope that continues forward i hope that doesn't get toned down uh by the time the game comes up because meter gain and utilizing meter is uh really enjoyable in this game and the more we get to do that the more crazy cool stuff can happen per match so it is what it is looking forward to it when it comes out and uh checking out to see how the characters truly play when the developers come up with their final decisions of how this game is actually going to smell at the beginning of june but uh, for now, you can consider me a soul bad guy. I have eventually jumped the boat. I smell the game and it's a volcanic viper here or there. It's very fun. <laughs>